it's showtime! Darren Pittman leads the drag race into turn number one as they try to go two and three wide through the field. Macri works up the bottom side by side for that second spot. Good battle for second down the back stretch as Macri's made his way to four. And Logan Wagner's going to follow him through. Here comes Lucas Wolf. He's going to slide Corey Elison from the second spot. Elison, he'll drive back by great battle for P2. Battle for second to Danny between the 5W of Lucas Wolf and the 26 of Corey Elias. And Elias has the spot down the backstretch. Pittman smooth and straight as he rips the limb down the backstretch. Here comes Anthony Macri. Macri has a run on Lucas Wolf. He's looking to go two for one. The concrete kid is on fire here at Port Royal. Boy, you have to think this racetrack fits right in the wheelhouse for the concrete kid from Dillsburg, Pennsylvania. They can see the tail of the field as now Pittman got a little sideways going in the turn number one. Here comes Elias. And here comes Macri. Elias and mounts a big charge down the back stretch. Earl into turn number three. Darren Pittman, you've got company. Corey Elias into the top spot. A big flyer from Rico for third. And now the top four are almost battling for the lead. Rico, oh, on, Rico, Rico. April gets in to Anthony Macri. Both cars facing the wrong direction, and Anthony Macri keeps going. Eight laps the longest we've gone green. Interesting restart here. Pittman way down to the bottom. Eliason chooses to get momentum on the high side, and it worked. Great restart for Corey Eliason. He'll dive down to the inside. Can he get the slider for the lead? Done. No, Pittman escapes on the high side. Here comes Logan Wanker now. Three-car battle for second. Wolf to second. Lucas Wolf looking good in the 5W. Here comes Logan Wagner. Went by the 26th of Corey Eliason. Now Logan Wagner's up in the third. And now Eliason has his hands full with the 18 of Giovanni. Sells the Gio down to the inside. All of a sudden, Corey Eliason finds himself in fifth. Just a couple of laps go battling for the lead. Good battle for third. Gio Selsey to the inside for third. He's got him in four. Wagner trying to turn the car once again. He's right there to the inside of Selsey. He will take that spot away going into turn number two. Eliason shot out oh, again. Goes by Selsey. Now he looks into the inside of Logan Wagner. Wow, what a move by Corey Eliason. Holy cow, what a move. By the Rudy and Racing 26, that was incredible, Earl. It is just like dodgeball out here at Port Royal Speedway. Now here comes Logan Wagner with another run of Corey Lyson. They drag race down the backstretch, give the third spot to Logan Wagner. Your leader, Darren Pittman, is in heavy, heavy lap traffic as Lucas Wolf, Logan Wagner, and Corey Lyson are starting to close in. Wolf's closing. Oh my! Wagner taps the wall. That kills his momentum. He was going to have a big run down the backstretch. Last time it was 1.00. Oh, red flag in turn four. Corey Elison flipping out of the ballpark in turn number four. The red flag will wave. I see him moving around. He, Corey Elison climbing out. Yeah, Corey Elison getting out of that car underneath his own power. Here's the replay for everyone tuning in on the flow racing. Corey Elison just climbs to guard the guardrail the front end. end. Yep, digs in and he is hanging on for a wild ride. And that right front and a bit of the front wing is lodged underneath there. So they're trying to get that unlodged from there so they can hook it up onto the tow truck. Pittman will bring him down to the cone here on the front stretch. Green flag is out. We're back underway. What a great restart by Lucas Wolf. He's right there with Darren Pittman. He's going to roll right through the middle. Can he take the lead? No. Darren Pittman looking good in the 39. And you can almost feel Jordan Swindell's nerves picking up as Pittman continues to lead the way. Good battle there for the third spot, though. Gio Celsi and Logan Wagner nearly touching. Cezo, yeah, Celsi right through the middle. Make that pass, Gio. He's up into the third spot, but we're gonna look behind them. Pittman can see Linton Jeffrey, the only lap car in front of him. Darren Pittman off a of turn number four, taps the guard room momentarily, but it's not gonna slow him down. Darren Pittman wins the night before the 50.